All right, the Bleach Part 2 Godly update is finally here, and everyone is broke on Spirit Shards. Word around the street is that the devs are working on a new way to farm them. I believe they acknowledged it in like a podcast saying that it was really, really hard. So hopefully that comes out soon, but for now, here's a video on the best ways to farm Spirit Shards as of the Bleach Part 2 Godly update. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, maybe leave a like or subscribe, but anyways, let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to start with the very easy methods that I think pretty much everybody will know. So starting with the battle pass, if you get this to tier 50, you can get a total of 22 mythic shards to get up to 11 if you have premium on tier 20 and up to another 11 on a tier 45 if you have premium for a total of 22. If you go to the gold shop here, that is the next method, which is in the little shop area here. Um, you can get every 12 hours a new shop will appear, which can have spear shards. I usually only buy when there are mythics or legendaries though because it is the most efficient for your gold that you'll spend. Then we of course have the Infinity Castle, which is going to give you, I think around six, maybe, yeah, six uh, Mythic Spear Shards in total. You get three from it, room 70. You get pretty much three again from room 50, but in legendary form. Then you get 10 epics and 20 rares as well from the lower floors. Um, always do that for the unit if you can. I sometimes forget, it's okay. But yeah, I'd recommend doing it. Moving on to the faster methods that some people might not know, we first have challenges, and a lot of people know about challenges, it was the OG best method of farming spirit shards, but one thing people might not know, it actually took me a little bit to figure out, was that World 2 challenges do have a daily boost feature, where the first 10 World 2 challenges that you clear every day are going to give you better rewards, and that actually usually will have a mythic shard for me, so pretty good, I recommend doing your 10 per day. Otherwise, we also have portals, which can be pretty good if you know where to look. There are a lot of options, it can be kind of confusing, but the new tier 6 portal isn't too bad. I usually get like one or two legendary shards from each run, not too terrible. Um, abandoned Cathedral portals are also pretty good. If you do these, you can get like rare or epic, but not the best, but you also get like rerolls, I think, which isn't too bad. Um, otherwise, there is going to be the Tropical Paradise portals are going to be the best for sure. These are by far the best. If you do not have them, they're from the old summer event. And the only way to get them if you don't have them is to join other people farming them. You can get a chance to get your own from theirs. And if you do get your own, it's guaranteed to get another one afterwards. You can kind of keep farming them as long as you have one. Really, really nice. And these are going to be probably the best portal for farming shards. The final and probably fastest method for farming shards that I'll talk about in this video is going to be the Shinigami vs. Quincy event here. So how that works is you're going to have a bunch of event quests to complete, and with these quests you'll get points for your team, and you'll also get these tokens to use in the shop. So in the shop you can only buy the evolution items or spear shards or stack cubes, um, or rerolls I guess. If I had to choose between all the items, rerolls obviously, you can AFK farm a lot more than just the 10. The items you can craft for Reiatsu over here in the crafting area, and Reiatsu is from the Soul Society portal, so not hard to get. Um, for the spear shards, that's definitely the best thing I'd recommend buying. Stack cubes you can always craft with elemental cavern drops, so it's not too important. And then there's also an event wheel. I wouldn't recommend like spinning on this too much unless you like really want to test your luck. But you can get five mythic shards if you get lucky. Usually you'll get a bunch of jewels, so if you're in a clan, definitely spin on it. But if not, no point, really. Um, you definitely need to get 4,000 points in this to complete the secret quest for like unstunning your units. I have a video on that. So get 4,000 points for sure and get more than that if you want your team to win to get the balance capsule but with the spear shards only costing 250 you can actually get a lot i'll show you with my 5000 tokens which is not hard to get at all you get a lot from having the event pass and the battle pass here on top of what you get from farming the event quests so um with my 5000 tokens i can buy a lot of spear shards like look at that about 20 probably right now i'm just gonna buy all of them And boom, easily just got 20 mythics right there. Very, very nice. So almost have enough for the godly, but yeah. Um, overall, probably the best method for farming. There's also the challenge to, or the quest to complete two challenges, which is kind of like two birds in one stone. While you're completing this, you can get your daily 10 boost challenges done. Really good for farming spirit shards, and in my opinion, the best for sure. Well, that's pretty much it for the spirit shard farming video. Hopefully you found it helpful or enjoyed. And if you did, maybe leave a like or subscribe. But keep in mind, the Shinigami vs. Quincy event is completely limited right now, so it's going to go away in 14 days. Keep that in mind. Farm it while you can. Um, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one, and have a great day. But I do also have something I want to say at the end of the video here, for anybody like in my Discord, I guess. Um, it has not been confirmed that Discord is like in their terms of service against Macrowing. 
So I'm not going to actually promote the macros in my Discord anymore because I don't want to risk like any um, any issues with Discord like that. Okay, I want to be a law-abiding citizen and follow their terms of service, all the updates and stuff with that. So no more macros in my Discord, okay? I know that's heartbreaking news for a lot of you and very, very sorry. It happened to Informals, I think. Informals is completely gone. If you know what Informals was, it was a macro Discord server, completely gone. So yeah, don't want to be like them. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.